All right, Oscar uh, De La Hoya has made some news here recently with his open letter to Floyd that's coming out in Playboy magazine. Uh, I want to get to some specifics, but first, just an overall general um, view on that. Is it sour grapes on his part? Does he of have course a point? It, of what course it's fucking sour grapes. What else could it be? The one thing is this. No one ever dogged yes, sir. Oscar De La Hoya the way Floyd did. Every single press conference. He treated him like, a, like he was a bitch and talked about him in his face. And Oscar De La Hoya, he wanted to respond, but to protect his image, he couldn't. And at the end of the day, being a good guy didn't help his ass. He still got, he still got his ass whooped by the bad guy. The same guy who came up in your face, talked about you every kind of way possible, disrespected you in every way possible, and now, that's the one thing that, believe me, that's the one thing that that still burns with Oscar, is the fact that Floyd did that shit to him, and he couldn't do nothing at the time because he wanted to, he wanted to be a bad boy. He wanted to be able to say, I'll fuck you up or I'll do this, but he couldn't. He played the role of a good guy. He had that fake ass image that he had to keep. And so that's what he did. And it ended up with sour grapes because he still got his ass whooped. Uh, well, let's go over a few of the specific points and then let's see what you have to say about those, if they have any merit or not. Uh, one of the first things you said is a fight game is better without Floyd. What do you think about that? How could it be better when Floyd made more money than anybody? And he made dip, he broke every pay-per-view record there was. Well, that's great for Floyd, but is that good for boxing? Yeah, it's fucking good for boxing. What do you mean? You think that Bo Floyd the only one made money? Everybody involved in boxing made money. It's a business. Well, again, but it's going to business. No, well, it's not. Like it's most fans, it's a most fucking fans. business. When it's a fucking business, that means everybody get paid. Floyd ain't the only one got paid. What about Shit, that? Oscar Punk ass was getting paid off Floyd. And that's what his problem was, because he wanted to be involved in that fight with Manny. And they had nothing to do with his ass, because after Richard Schaefer was gone, Floyd stopped fucking with him. So all, all of his fighters was the one that was making all the money. He didn't have no problem with Floyd then. So, well, Go ahead. No, go ahead. So one of, his, one of his criticism mainly is that Floyd's very boring. He, you know, he's very safe style. He didn't. He never looked. So what? People paid to see him. Same way they did for his ass. They people paid to see him. People paid to see Floyd. They paid a whole lot more. That's all. That's the only difference. But it seems like you know what, what he'll say is that after every fight, people yes, they did pay, but after every fight, they were like. So what? This was a boring fight. So what? Obviously, they didn't fucking. Obviously. They fucking wasn't upset because those same motherfuckers went out and paid again and again and again. So for to say that, that's asinine. You got to be a complete fucking fool to say that when this guy is steady putting up more numbers and more numbers every fight. Obviously somebody out there fucking like what the fuck he's doing. Uh, another thing he said, Floyd was a... Uh, he pointed to himself saying he fought everybody in the prime, Shane Mosley uh, and all these guys, Gardner's whatever, you know, Floyd himself and his, um, all these guys in the prime, but... But Floyd was more afraid, you know, to risk he never fight, but in their prime, What's people up, like, like Shane Mosley fought, you know, not when he was in his prime, but Oscar was at the end of his own career. Uh, <laughs> he never was a Pacquiao, he fought, We you can know. kill all that bullshit, too. You can kill all that bullshit. Floyd asked to fight Manny Pacquiao a long time ago. He asked Shane Mosley to fight a long fucking time ago. Shane Mosley said, oh, I'd rather go on, I'm gonna go on vacation with my family. Floyd asked him that shit about fucking, Floyd was only two years in his career when he asked Shane Mosley to fight him. And then he, and when everybody was talking about fucking Manny Pacquiao, Floyd said, take a test, let's fight. What the fuck happened? Manny Pacquiao said, oh, I'm scared of needles. Fuck out of here. What about him pointing to Canelo saying he was too early in his career? Well, now, what about the, yeah, what about Canelo? Canelo's supposed to be the fucking big star every goddamn thing. Floyd fucking played with his ass. And now you want, and now you want to ride, now you want to ride Canelo's dick talking about what, what Canelo is? Canelo is this, Canelo is that? But he's the same guy that got his ass whooped by Floyd. The two guys that y'all are building up for this big fight, they both got their ass whooped by Floyd. That's why. That's the reason why, you know, Floyd is in the position that he's in. I mean, and, and what else? What else are you going to say? Um, um, I mean, he's the only fighter in the history of any fucking sport to be undefeated for 19 fucking years. When you find somebody that can do that shit, and then you're gonna discredit them, something wrong with you. You must be high. 
You must be high. You must be on that shit you've been smoking. What about the allegations of, you know, he just, he dance around or he's only, he'll beat on the guys he totally outclasses, but, you know, when it's someone that's, you know, maybe can match him, he's, he's dancing around. The Who can time. match him? Who can match him? Anybody match him? If somebody matched him, why he ain't got beat? Well, it's because he danced around if he fought him, right? What the know? fuck you mean if he fucking danced around? Muhammad Ali danced around. Nobody said shit about that. But he would maybe be considered to have more classic more what? fights. More what? The fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. Floyd beat every motherfucker easier than Ali did. So what the fuck are you talking about? Say, but more classic fights. What the fuck is the classic shit? That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Fucking classic. What the fuck is classic? What the fuck is? He doesn't have he doesn't have great fights that you'll remember. What the fuck is? He's saying is they'll remember him as making a lot of money. This is what Oscar said. Not me. I know what Oscar said. Making a lot of money, but they won't remember his fights. But Raz Ali. But you know what they will remember? They remember he'll beat every motherfucker they put in front of him. Don't give a fuck who it was. What? Because that's what you'll remember. That's because he always. That's what you'll remember. Because he always fought him at the time. Yeah, he fought them all at the right time. When he fight guys younger than him, they don't have experience. When he fight guys that a little bit, a little bit older than him, <laughs> well, I guess that that means that they're past their prime. And then when he fight a motherfucker that everybody bragged about and everybody thought really had a chance, and he played with his ass too. And well, I don't know what what can you say about that? Was he too young? Was he too old? Or maybe he just wasn't no fucking good in the first place. Everybody else just blowed him up. Well, you said he has memorable fights, so which ones do you think would be the ones that will look back years from now and say that, you know, that was... Or do you think it's more just maybe not a fight Well, I think it's just his hating. skill, maybe his skill you can admire in a fight, you know, maybe as opposed to like a, a Tommy Hearns, you know, Marvin Hagler type war, you, know, you but, can just admire... don't get me wrong, I understand, what, I understand that completely, but at the end of the day, this is the same guy that broke every fucking record there is in boxing, fought more world champions than anybody, but yet he hasn't fought nobody. But not only that, undefeated 19 years, world champion 18 years, but yet <laughs> he's the most boringest fighter in the world. Made and, 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 and smashed every pay-per-view number there is, but he's boring. People must love boring then. If a, if a guy can wait if a guy can make fucking eight hundred million dollars in a goddamn ring, let me be born. I wish I could be him, and every other fucking fighter before him, wish they was him, even Oscar included. But from his point is, is boxing. Floyd's clearly better off for it. Is boxing for what he did? I mean, put it this way: they're looking for the next Floyd. They're not looking. They're not looking for the next Oscar. They're looking for the next Floyd. All right, and just wrapping up, uh, you know, one of the things that he had said was about his mouth. Had no place in boxing. He said before he was Money Mayweather, he couldn't sell out a, you know, an arena in Grand Rapids. So what do you think, which is kind of crazy, because, you know, with him being a promoter, you think having a mouth. He could, kind of wait a second. He couldn't, he couldn't do none of that. But you was happy as fuck when you was making money off of him. And he was smashing every number there was in boxing. But... Once you got out of that picture, then you had a reason to hate on him. And like I said, at the end of the day, it goes back. Believe me, it goes back to when they fought. Because Floyd just humiliated his ass in every fucking way possible. And when you think about that, when you think about a guy that is proud as Oscar, you know, I mean, but he built up that fake persona that I'm, I'm the good guy, I'm the golden boy. But you're the golden boy, but yet you've been on, you've been on cocaine, you've been caught dressing up like a woman, but you're the good guy. Floyd's a guy, he didn't bullshit the people. He said what he felt. So, I mean, would you rather be with a guy that's fucking phony, that's just perpetuating the image that he really ain't, or a guy that's going to tell you, this is what I am? I'd rather be with the fucking guy that I want to know. I'd rather be with a guy that I can believe in, that when he speaks, what he says, I mean, that's what he means. Rather than a guy who has a fake persona, you know, Mr. Good Guy, but behind the scenes, it's anything but good. 
Well, you had said in the beginning it was uh, sour grapes on his part, but I don't know. Your your family, man. I don't, we don't. How do we not know you just got his back because it's related to you? No, I got it back because you related to me. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the thing is this. I mean, Oscar was great for boxing in his time. He had a great story. But when he started being so phony, the story didn't mean anything no more. You know, at some point in time, he got caught up in being the fake Oscar rather than being a real person. I mean, because the one thing is this, you know, I never discredit nothing that Oscar did. Oscar was a great fighter, Oscar was great for boxing. But just as, just like Oscar was great for boxing, Floyd was great for boxing too. Because in, in the, to say that, oh well, the uh, legacy, um, the, the worst legacy of boxing is over. Really? <laughs> it can't be that bad when your ass made a ton of money off of him. When, he was, when, when you was feeding him all your fighters. And you know what? They all got their ass whooped. Wow.